Yeah, yeah. What's going on, people? This is Jay Gucci for um, Jay Gucci's music, and today I'm gonna show y'all how to use the Reasons Read Drum computer in Reasons four or five or whatever one you have. So if you're ready, let go. So let me load up my Reasons. Alright. This is my rack. This is my custom rack. I'll show you how to do that if you want me to. But um in this empty part of my rack, my right click. I'm gonna find the read drum computer. Here it is here. There's my read drum computer. You can load samples and drum kits in the reason read drum. You got seven loading buttons. Well not seven, eleven loading buttons. Here's one here, and you know, here's the other team right here. This runs down here is to use to load the kits. And these up here are used to load samples individually. Any file can be loaded into the read drum. Any. So, load them up in here. These switches and knobs here are used to alter the sample. So, you got tone, you got velocity, you got pitch, you got length, you got level, you got another velocity. So, these are to do that there. All right, so let's create a drum loop in the reason sequencer. So let me create a real drum loop, real quick, a little simple drum loop using these um, 16 steps here. You can add more steps, but that's more advanced with these and this in here. You can also mess with the flam on it, but that's a little more advanced. You can also mess with the dynamics. But that's a little more advanced. I'll do another video later on. Um, I'm show you guys about that. And show you guys about this here. The patterns and ACD and all that. But I'll do another video on that. But now I'm just going to do a basic drum. So check me out. Click on this folder here. Or these hi hats. I don't want these hi hats. I want these clap first. And find me your 808 clap. Right. I'm use this clap here. Hit run. So I can see, you know, see it going. So using five and thirteen is always perfect. You know, speed up the tempo a little bit. You know that can that can increase it the way it sounds and increase the way it sounds messing around with the tempo. Tempo's down here. You know where it's at. Okay. So now let me add a bass drum to it. If you got any questions, just hit me up and I'll let you know. Alright, I like that one. Let's do something like this. Yeah, nothing, nothing too hard. You know, something basic. Give you a little bounce to a little groove. Nod your head too. Put a hi hat on here. Put old C hi hat. Alright. Play with that. A little simple pattern. Not too much to it. Too simple pattern. You can choose to create a loop and draw it in into the parts of the song or copy and paste into the pattern into the selected zone. It's all up to you. I don't do the drawing. I never really learned how to do it. I probably can learn how to do it, but I never learned how to do it because I always thought the copy and pasting was the easiest part. So I'm going to show you all how to copy and paste it down here to the um, into your redrawn lane. So what you usually do is, what I usually do is, I click right there or either right here just so once I can get the screen and um, if I can get the screen I'm good and you'll see copy pattern to drum to drum to copy copy pattern to track so now it's down here so I can enable it stop it because it's going what you got to do hit play it's down your plan you know that's it it's easy and um, since I copied it, it 
copy between the left and right located, so that's eight bars. If I made it longer, you know, it'd be all the way down here, but I only copied it right here. That's more advanced stuff. We're gonna show you the simple, simple basics, and that's the simple, simple basics of using the redrawn computer. Any questions? Hit me up, holla at me at jgucci'smusic at gmail.com. Check my beats out at beatsbyjgucci.com. Hit me up on Twitter, jgucci boy. You know, holla at me.